It is Sunday, the 9th of August, 2020, and this is your friend, Angus Buchan, with a thought for the day. If we go to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 11, and reading from verse 26, the Lord says, Behold, I set before you today a blessing and a curse. The blessing, if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today. And the curse, if you do not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, but turn aside from the way which I command you today to go after other gods which you have not known. Today, the choice is yours and the choice is mine. If we persist in doing things our own way, then we will unfortunately have to reap the consequences. I remember many years ago, a farmer coming and buying a farm in our district. He came from a different province where the soil type was very sandy and the rainfall wasn't too heavy. And he did most of his cultivation by mechanical means. He used cultivators behind his tractors when his crop came through the ground. But this is KwaZulu-Natal. We normally get heavy rainfall and the soil type is greasy and heavy. He planted his crop. It was a beautiful crop, came through the ground beautifully. And we advised him to please spray for weeds. Get in there quickly and spray your crop before the heavy rains came. And he basically laughed and said, no, where he comes from, they don't use herbicides. They use mechanical cultivation. Well, the rain came and it rained and it rained and it rained. He tried to get in with his tractors and his cultivators and they got stuck in the mud and eventually the weeds overtook the crop and the crop was completely consumed with weeds. Two or three years later, that man sold his farm and he left our district. We need to obey. We need to learn. And who better to learn from than the Lord himself? The Lord says, do not be unevenly yoked. What does that mean? It means a believer cannot marry an unbeliever. Why? Because oil does not mix with water and darkness with light. You say, but I'll get him to come through for the Lord when I marry him, or I'll bring her to the Lord when I marry her. No, you won't. The chances are it will be the other way around. Do not be unevenly yoked in business. You say, but he's a nice man. He's got lots of money and lots of contacts. Yes, quite right. But what happens when you start making profit and you say, I want to give 10% of my income to the Lord's work? He'll say, not with my money, you won't. And that's where the trouble starts. You know, I remember a, a funny story about the devil sitting on the curbside of an intersection in a road in his red suit with his fork holding it next to him and crying his eyes out. And somebody came up and said, what are you crying about? He said, I get the blame for everything that goes wrong around here. Folks, we have to obey the word of God. It's for our own good. And then we will have a happy home, a loving marriage, and a successful business. God bless you and have a wonderful Sabbath day.